Okay, then, folks, so I've done all the mortises, got all my tenants, all trimmed to size. Uh, I've done a dry fit, and they all fit well with a persuasion from the Hummer. Um, they all fit okay, so I'm going to get some glue on, get some clamps, let it set, and then we can get the braces cut then. for a cup of tea. Okay then folks, so I've um, just got the braces and the feather edge cladding to do now. Um, I'll put them on this one as you can see. Um, I've done a nice tight mitre in there. I've screwed it from underneath and then underneath here and then obviously underneath there. So when any rain gets on, it's not gonna sit in the holes. Uh, just a little tip for you. So I've put these up just so I don't make mistakes. I've done a little reference X on which way I want the braces to go. If you've seen my other gate build, you'll know that the braces need to go in the opposite direction to the hinges. So on this one, this is the left hand side as you're looking at it. The hinges will be on this side and then the weight gets distributed down like that. Not that there's going to be any movement because it's a mortise and tenant joint anyway. So. I'm going to crack on with cutting those, get some cladding on, and I'll catch you again at the end when it's all finished. thought I'd show you just as a quick little tip as well what I've done is I've marked the center uh, of the brace on each end and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that up with the corner of the corner of the um, rails going into the styles of the gate now you can clamp it but I'll just put it tight towards me like that and literally you just mark it and then you've got the length of the cut and you've got both angles we take that to the motor saw cut them offer it up and we'll just creep up on it until we get a nice snug fit And then after a few little back and forths to the motor saw, you get a nice snug motor. show you <clears throat> so now I'm just gonna screw this from the underneath so there's no water because this is the top so I don't want water sitting in the screw holes so I'm just gonna screw it from underneath here and underneath there 
with some coated screws as well so they're protected for the weather. <coughs> Okay, folks, really sorry about the audio. Um, the sheets on my over... Um, the sheets on top of my uh, lean-to are really loose and it flaps about, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, just quickly, I've done this half of the gate. Um, so I'm just going to finish off this half. What I've done is, as I've come to the end of the gate, I've put the uh, feather edge on and it overlaps... Um, it overlaps the edge of the gate about two and a half to three inches and what's that what that's going to do is when the gates are closed it's going to form a, a straight through uh, feather edge panel so hopefully it will look as invisible as possible um, so all I've done is I've clamped them all together I've put a um, just over a quarter inch uh, filler in each end just to space it out to, to, to give the clearance obviously the clearance each end uh, I've made a little jig I made this probably about five five six years ago um, absolute great little helping hand when you're doing uh, feather edge board so yeah I'll show you show you how it works so you get your feather edge you get your your jig um, the spacing for these five inch boards is four inches reveal so you get three to a foot and then literally all you do is you just put it on your edge of your feather edge, butch your next feather edge board up to the edge, and it also lines up for your screws as well, so it does a few jobs in one. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do is just, if I can get in with the clamp, is just clamp, um, screw a, a straight edge onto here. And what that will do is when we're butting the boards up, it will keep the top, Keep the top of the feather edge all flat and uh, and straight, and then if we need to, just trim off the bottom if there's any sort of discrepancy in the length, because they are rough cut boards, so they're not going to be exactly the same. So yeah, I'm just going to crack on now because it's starting to rain and it's not the best video. In so I'm going to crack on now. Uh, I am using screws because I haven't got any galvanised nails, but I will be changing all of the screws for galvanised nails. So yeah. The things you do for video, eh? So yeah, I'm going to crack on with this, get it all done, and then I'll try and stand them up and hopefully do an outro for you. Okay then folks, so I'm going to keep this real snappy because it's wet, it's cold and it's windy, so yeah. Um, they're all done now, I'm going to replace the screws with nails when I get them, probably when I get to the job site and fit it. Might try and video that if I can, uh, see how it goes, but yeah. Um, i tried to play a bit crafty, I've left uh, an overlap on this side, on this side of the gate. So when this one closes, you just have a 
complete run of feather edge and they're all four inch spaces so hopefully that should look quite nice hinges are going on the back so you shouldn't see anything it should just look like the the feather edge fence here um yeah like i said mortars and tenants going to be well strong enough um braces yeah so yeah i just can't wait to get paid now <laughs> best part of the job i suppose isn't it well i do love making it but yeah um I hope you liked it folks, hope you took something from it, if you do give it a thumbs up, if you didn't give it a thumbs down, uh, let me know and we'll see what we can do to amend in the future, um, yeah, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and when you do don't forget to click the bell icon and that will notify you whenever I put a new video up um, and you don't miss any of this lovely Chevy Chase, so yeah, thanks for watching folks and I'll catch you later.